sprung a surprise today by keeping all its key rates unchanged in the first policy review after the Brexit referendum, keeping the interest rate at 0.5%, something that's stuck to that it has stuck to since 2009. The markets, though, had been factoring in at least a 25 basis points cut in rates in what was being seen as a cushion to the economic turmoil in the wake of Brexit. But what's going to be soothing for investors, perhaps, is the fact that uh, the British Central Bank's Monetary Policy Committee says it expects some loosening in policy in the month of August. And uh, after we saw that result come in from the BOE, the FTSE has given up a lot of its gains, turning a flat, in fact, also dipping into negative territory for a very short time. The CAC and the DAX, however, are retaining most of their momentum, though even those two indices are off the highest point of the day. Now, speaking to CNBC, Chairman and CEO of BlackRock, Larry Fink, says the decision could have been made to avoid further currency devaluation after the Brexit referendum. We're pretty convinced that Brexit is going to cause a short-term recession, maybe longer, depending on it. Uh, and, may, and maybe, you know, obviously we haven't heard the narrative from the Bank of England. Maybe they want to wait and see evidence of a true slowdown. Before. What it may mean is they were concerned how low the pound went, and they're going to wait and see. And if they did a, a very aggressive easing, the currency could have devalued more and maybe they don't want that at this moment there's not enough evidence related to the economy back home banks have